Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to use Go Router. We'll learn how to navigate with Go Router, how to pass arguments when navigating from a page to another page, and how to redirect while using Go Router. And I'll see. I mean, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel. And without wasting time, let's get started. So as you know, the first thing we we'll do is we'll go into our prospect.yaml file and add the Go Router package there. And in our main dot that instead of returning material app, we'll return material app dot router. And this we need to take the route config. So I'll call this route and let's create our route up here. Here we'll have the final go route. Final go router, which we call the route which we are using as a route config here. And so it goes to go router and here we'll include all our routes inside here and here we have the go route so the go route will contain the parts and i have created some pages here the settings the profile and the home page so it will contain the parts and the first part will be the home so and that will just be the forward slash which is just saying that this is the home page and now build that we have the context state and to return the home page and we'll do the same thing for the profile page and the settings page so for the settings just have the first slash and then i mean for the profile profile and since we have done this for the pages it's time to run our app and we are through running so this is the home page and we can see we only have one button here which is move forward so we'll be using the go router to navigate forward context dot now there are two ways to do this you can use context dot go or context dot push and i'll explain the difference now so for this page we'll be using the context dot go to go to our settings page and now if i should auto reload you can see we are able to move forward just with context dot go now let me add functions to the buttons in the settings page. Let's navigate to our settings dot that and here we have context dot push. Context dot push and we'll be going to the profiles page. And the other button will have the context dot pop, which is to go back context.pop okay and in our profiles page we have only a button which is, which will be used to go back so we have context.pop to context.pop and if i should auto restart everything now I see the home page we are able to move forward and we are able to move forward now if i should go back on the profiles page we are able to get to the settings but going back here we are having an error which is saying there is nothing to pop now the difference between go and push is that once you press if you use context.push it will push the new page over the previous page but if you use context.go, it will remove the previous page and replace it with the new page. So that's just the difference between context.push and context.go. Okay, and now that we are through with this, let's learn how to pass argument from a page to another page. So let's go into our main.dat and I want to pass argument to our profiles page. So here we have slash profile with name we want to pass the name to our profiles page and in that in our profile we have the name property which we take the states dot params and inside inside the params which means the parameter we have the parameter we want to pass which is equals to name all right so let's remove the const over here and then we'll go into our profiles page and add the name parameter here so the string 
name and let's add it inside our constructor this dot name if you're having an error just remove the const property in front of the profile and now we'll go into our settings page and in our settings page in the button we'll have the string we want to pass so string name equals to vicky please and then in our button the context dot push we'll just pass the name through it so we we'll have slash profile name okay and now we can save it and in our app bar we can pass the name there so that the name will be displayed in the app bar so let's remove the const from there and now if i should auto restart let's wait for this and we will navigate to the profiles page so move forward and we can see the name will pass from the settings to the profiles page so this is just how you can pass arguments from a page to another page with context with go router now let's learn how to redirect from a page to another page now let's learn how to redirect so we're going to your profile route and have the redirect now we want to redirect if a particular condition is met so we have the if condition if state dot params now we are accessing the parameter we are passing to the profiles page which is the name so if state dot params name is equals to vicky bliss if it is equals to vicky bliss then we should navigate to our home page else you should go, go straight to the profile page just return the profiles page so if i should out restart this now okay and we navigate to the settings page if you try to navigate to the profiles page you can see it is taking us back to the home page why because the parameter is equals to vicky please now if we should change this remove the yes and then out restart again you can see move forward and move forward you are getting an error here why because there's no page called the profile there's no page called the profile so we are having an error but what if you don't want to display this kind of type of error and you want to display your own error page we'll create that error page down here now so here we just have a stateless widget I will call it the error page and here we'll return a scaffold scaffold and in our body we we'll have a center widget and the child will be a text and this text will return this is an error page okay now to use it in our route we'll just go out of the route out of the list and then we'll have the error builder and we'll return the error page yes and then have the const error page so if i should auto restart now and if i should navigate to the page instead of the pre-made error page i'll see my own custom error page here which is this the one we just created now so this is the end of the tutorial if you enjoyed this kindly subscribe to the youtube channel also like this video and comment down below what you love to see next and i'll see you in the next lesson